here. Uh, it's been really strange planning for you and you not being in front of me. Uh, so today you guys are going to log on to Canvas for your first e-learning day um, and I want to kind of tell you what that's going to look like. So as always we access my course through the home page um, and instead of the daily schedule I made modules with the daily schedule so you'll see the date and the things you have to do for that day. Now with modules, I've made it to where you cannot skip. So if it's Thursday, you have to do Thursday before you do Friday and so on and so forth. Um, there's a tab called resources and here you will find resources from power writing to diddles to um, plot line, vocabulary, anything that's been a poster in our room or another teacher's room, language arts teacher, it will be there and I will continue to upload that as you guys email me and tell me what you need. Um, on that note, the district has decided that e-learning days will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I need to hear from you daily. This is how we get attendance. Um, so it's super important that even if you just log in and check your assignments and just email me, I need to hear from you daily. If I don't, it becomes a concern that um, has to be addressed. Not, not just by me, but by the principals and whatnot. So please make sure I'm hearing from you daily. Part of your assignments that you'll be doing involves our book that you guys were able to take home. And those of you that weren't here on Monday, hopefully picked it up by now. Um, if not, I did a really cool thing and I learned how to um, use Explain Everything and read to you. So you'll have some readings from me and other guest teachers like Miss Godarzy and Miss Cruz. So you can follow along, listen along, or you can read on your own, but that's still an option for you. With those, you'll have questions. The questions will need to be submitted on the e-learning days, and that's part of how you can check in with me. Um, on that note, I know we haven't got a chance to talk about the book, Lion to Litter Rock. As you know, it is one of my favorites, um, but it's hard. It's hard because the time period, it uses a lot of language that isn't acceptable today, but back then it was acceptable. So you guys might come across language that makes you uncomfortable. Um, it should make you uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. And it's not really acceptable today, but in order to understand the time period, that's what the author decided to do. If the uncomfortability gets to the point where you cannot read that chapter, let me know and I will um, figure it out with you. Um, on that note, you'll hear integration and segregation a lot. Integration is like the combining of people. All different races and uh, backgrounds must come together. Segregation is the belief that, um, okay, if you're white, you're here. If you're African American, you're here. If you're Chinese, you're here. They want us to be separated. Uh, so you'll hear that a lot and you'll all see our characters interact with those terms. Um, one of your first assignments is the background, and the background assignment is meant to tell you about this time period, introduce you to some of the laws that happened. Um, so make sure that if you have questions over anything, message me. Um, it's just really weird, but I hope to hear from you guys, and I hope that you, I don't know, be safe, take care of yourselves, okay? Wash your hands. Avoid public places and YouTube me. Subscribe. Peace, love, and happiness. Peace, love, and happiness.